It's Wine Wednesday and Valentine's Day is just around the corner. My favorite person, Kathy Marston, is joining me in studio. And today we're having bubbles, which is perfectly fitting because I think Absolutely. all those lovers out there are going to enjoy a bottle. On yeah, that day. well, I mean, I enjoy bubbles all the time, and you know that. Me too, and, and my lovers. I know, we both. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if you're solo drinking or whatever you're drinking, you know, I think it's got to be bubbles all the time. But mm. um, I bought this one because I thought it was quite nice for a present. Isn't yeah. this nice? So, like butterflies and everything all over the place. And inside, as well, I don't know if they can sort of see that, but inside and out, so lots of attention to detail. This is from Babylon Strollen. Ah, um, so that's a whole butterfly thing because, um, as you know, they're all into sort of beautiful gardens mm, there and, and lots of sort of you know foraging for the food for the restaurants and and wildlife. It's really really pretty estate. It's a beautiful place to go and look around. Um, and this is their Sprinkle, which I think, you know, my, me and my Afrikaans is not so good. So I'm reliably informed that means sparkle. <laughs> so um, there we go. Perfect for a gift and I think perfect for, mm. for a romantic date. So let's give it a try. Yeah. I'm just going to pour some here. Yeah. I know my Plastic. sommelier skills aren't that great. but No, that looks very good. Some at the point. I'm very nice. Good at other things. Absolutely. Very kind of and everything. So this has been four years on the lees, and and as I know you know, that's really what's important for an MCC that yeah. it has this lovely time in contact with the dead yeast cells, so it smells and tastes sort of brioche and yeasty and all those kinds of things, um, which it does, and it's made from Chardonnay. Um, and there's and no Pinot Noir. I know usually MCCs have a Chardonnay right. Pinot Noir mix. This they is do. straight Chardonnay. Yeah, this is a Blanc de Blanc. So it's white wine from white grapes. All right. Okay, so it's 100% Chardonnay. So let's have a little taste. Give it a taste. Yeah. Cheers to Valentine's Day. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. Yes, that's very nice. I could drink that. This is my style of bubbles. Mm. Um, I love it that it's been so long on the lees. So four years on the lees. It's really almost almost savoury and almost lovely salty. Yes, that's exactly what it is. fruit in there as, uh, as well. And what's making this even nicer is that it's what they call zero dosage. So normally when you make an MCC or a champagne... I know what zero dosage is. You know, I know you know. I'm just going to say it anyway, say it anyway. because anyone doesn't know. I just um, want everyone to know that I knew before Cash oh, Point. You are such a sophisticated drinker, you really are. <laughs> so what normally happens is that you have your second fermentation in the bottle and it has this lovely yeasty contact and then you have to get the yeast out somehow or other. Um, so you do a whole complicated process to get the yeast out. And then just before you actually put this cork in, then you normally top it up a little bit with some wine and very often a little bit of, of sweet wine as well or grape juice or, or something liqueur. or liqueur. It's mm. called liqueur de tirage. Mm. Was it liqueur d'expedition? I never remember getting those two confused. She's an expert. Um, I know. It's, it, I can't remember which one is which. But anyway, so the idea is it just offsets the acidity because very often these mm. things are very, very acidic. Now, this one has been on the leaves for four years. And what that means in that time is that the acid has just, just relaxed into the wine a little bit. And so when they tasted this, they actually said, mm, do you know what, we don't need to add any sugar here. This is actually fine. This I agree is with them. This is just perfect as it is. Um, and I think it's done great, Guns. I think it's fantastic that it's, it's lovely and savoury and, and rich and lip-smacking mm. and nutty and all those kinds of things. All great things. Mm. Now, we've paired this with Food 24's Apple and Marzipan Strudel. Mm. Now, that sounds like a nice little treat. Yeah, I think it's a great treat. I think it will kind of go a little bit with this. I think that it's going to pick up the almondy notes. It might prove to be a little bit too sweet um, for the wine. Um, but that's fine. You can just drink a bottle before you get to dessert and then have dessert and then drink another bottle afterwards. Kathy, it can't be too sweet on Valentine's Day. No, You're that's true. The dessert certainly you. can't. But um, I think that this is a very, a very sweet package all round. All right. Cheers. Happy Valentine's Absolutely. Day. Absolutely. Yeah.